the storm water out of the streets isn't all that easy, and it requires more machinery than you might think. A lot more. Yeah, KCRA3's Richard Sharp got a tour of one of the city's many pumping stations today. He's live to show us how critical they are in a storm like the one we're bracing for. Richard? We're in the Natomas area, Kelly, and this is one of the lower lying areas of the city. Now imagine all the water that falls in this area going down drains like this one and to one pumping station. That's a lot riding on one pumping station that kicks it out to the Sacramento River. But the city says they're ready for it. They are huge diesel engines that will soon be up and running. We get amped up for the storm. Combined, these pumps have more than 3,500 horsepower. This is one of the biggest storm pumping stations we have. Here's why. The pumps take storm water from this huge underground concrete room and push it into the Sacramento River. This room collects water from 400 acres of gutters, streets, and fields in the Tomas. These are on a float switch, a level control, so the, they will automatically start. This pump station is one of 152 in the city. Seems like more than enough, but leaves can quickly clog up the filters or screens and slow the process. And the right storm can easily overwhelm any system. You're looking at leaf screens at the bottom of a 40 foot cavernous room called a wet well. And this is where that 400 acre feet that drains into Thomas comes. Now, most of the time, it doesn't reach the top here, but there are some rain events where the water comes so fast and so much of it that the water overflows out of these pits onto the concrete. We only have five pumps, and we can only pump so much water. You know, the system will be surcharged and it'll back up on the streets, and it's just going to take time to get it out. This is why it's critical. People do what these people are doing. Mowed them all up and swept them into the yard, cleaned the gutter out. When you're doing all this, you're thinking about the rains coming. You're thinking about keeping the gutters clear. Oh, yeah. We're setting them away from the curb off to the side mm -hmm. so that um, it doesn't get stuck in the storm drain. And if the power does go out, the city has 83 on site and portable generators they can quickly relocate to keep the water flowing. And that's not all. We have 80 employees on standby starting tomorrow. 12-hour uh, shifts until the storm's over and we get our head above water, so to speak. Now, that pumping station that we were at has four big pumps, but some of those sump pump stations only have one or two pumps, so during a big storm, they can get easily overwhelmed. Of course, the one in Natomas is much bigger because this is such a big coverage area. It's the second biggest station in the city. Live in Natomas, I'm Richard Sharp, KCRA 3 News. So, Richard, did they say if any of these pumping stations have been overwhelmed with water? I mean, we had that happen last week with that flood there on I-80 and Watt. Oh, yeah. Uh, in fact, during that, that same storm, there was one or two that basically got so much water in such a short amount of time that there was street flooding. Even though the drains weren't clogged, the pumps just took a while to get back online and get that water cleared out. So what has happened as recently as about a week ago. We'll see. Everyone's on staff that day. so. Yeah, certainly is impressive, though, isn't it? Yeah. All right, Richard, thank you for that. And